Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Brian if you're new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back you sexy beasts. And that's what you get for subscribing by the way, free compliments at the start of these videos. But today I'm actually gonna throw in a bonus perk, a 5% increase to all your luck rolls from here to eternity, just for watching this video and being a subscriber. But all joking aside, hopefully you guys don't mind my compliments and my free perks that I just bestow upon you guys because I have that kind of power. Now. Today, I was uh, working on a, uh, you know, kind of a healing guide, both 101 and also my healing build. That's some of the things that people are asking me more for. And so I'm putting that kind of work into it. But I wanted to sit down today and actually kind of talk to you guys about things that are happening within the game uh, and things that I think you should be aware of because I can confirm a few things for you today. If you guys do not follow uh, Desmond Kim, uh, I'm going to include a link to his video going over the PTR and some of the data mining uh, that has been exposed of features and things like that coming uh, to the game. Now, keep in mind, I'm usually hesitant when it comes to data mining because it doesn't necessarily give us a very clear picture of where the game can go. There's always a left and a right that can actually happen. And so I'm always juggling that. Uh, that concept because it happens within games. I'm very well aware of it. I've seen it happen exactly as the information exists in data mining. And I've also seen and heard of it happening where things change. And there was some kind of gnat in, in this room as I'm filming. So thank you for that gnat. I don't know if that showed up on camera, but that was a little weird. Um, and so that's where I usually am hesitant. But to talk about it, loadouts are coming. Uh, I've actually had this confirmed to me privately, and that's one of the things I was very excited. I'm not going to reveal my source on it, but you can see here within the data mining uh, that it is actually coming. Now, as to the system and how it's going to work and function, I have my personal hopes, and I'm going to be making sure that I uh, provide that feedback. I do not have a date on it, but essentially, there were, I was told there are three big and key features that are that people have wanted in this game. Uh, for a long time and yes they're all coming and one is coming sooner than the others and the thing that's coming sooner than the others is loadouts and that's what i was told and obviously the data mining uh confirms this and so i wanted to kind of give that to you guys as both hope excitement information etc now um that means there's also other exciting things coming what was the other one mounts so we already talked about that in the previous video we also had asthma gold and other uh, interviewers and them being kind of teasing so yeah and i talked about it in the video itself so we don't have an eta on that either but that's also going to be something exciting i'm i'm assuming they're going to actually bring this out in a, an exciting way when i think they announce these things i think they're going to show them off and i don't know if that's going to be the next dev uh, update note to self i cannot wait to cover that for you as i'm sure i'm going to lose my mind if you guys want to watch that you can always go over to ginger prime i'll try to include a link for that as well but there was a third thing i said right I'm going to save that for now. And I know it's such a dick move, but I really think a lot of people are going to be excited about the third thing. And if all things end up proving out to be true, dev changes, priorities change. So I don't want to set anybody's expectation, but I'm excited for the future of new world uh, more so than I've ever been. I've actually been excited this whole time. Um, but what I, what I tell you guys, hands down, why am I so confident on this game? Why do I feel so respected about this game? And it's that the devs like actually give a shit. And to feel that, to say that, like it really is true. It really is true. And that's one of the reasons why I'm absolutely rooting for this game. Whether you like Amazon as a big mega corp or not, AGS, you know, in and of itself is its own thing. And I really respect the people who are on this team, that they're working and that they're not drawing a line in the sand and just saying no. If they do say no, they give reasons to. And that those reasons, whether you agree or disagree, at least clear the air at least uh, like break down some of the logic and, and the thought process behind it doesn't mean that it won't change in the future but it gives you insight into the what the devs are saying so i'm really excited about that so i think loadouts are going to be a game changer especially for me i find myself actually focusing in on healing more namely because i'm having a blast with it and hopefully i'll get that guide out for you sometime monday or tuesday uh there's there's a couple ways i'm approaching it and honestly i'm very nervous about it i'm uh you know i'm still always learning there's still there's anybody like i, I work in software de development 
And anytime I hear that someone's an expert, I always kind of like go, there's so much more to learn. And so there's always that mindset with me when it comes to games, especially with guides, is that I always feel like there's still so much for me to learn. And my goal with any of that is to try and break it down into the most manageable and, uh, you know, information possible and not waste people's time. I, I've been in, I've watched guides on YouTube and some of them, uh, they really frustrated me. And sometimes there's some really good ones. So ultimately note that, um, that's going to be how I step into it. And I hope that I'll have some good confidence with it, but I know I am right now a little nervous. You kind of feel like kind of taking off, uh, <laughs> the old robe here and be like, well, guys, here's my build. And it turns out like, uh, you know, one perk in and of itself wasn't best. Now I don't give a crap about be uh, best in slot. Ultimately, I think best in slot and meta gameplay in MMORPGs work and you, and become the be all end all when you have matchmaking that kind of drives people getting connected. I actually go for preferential enjoyment where my build actually complements uh, the team that we've already kind of been playing together with. So that's ultimately what I actually enjoy and why I don't necessarily bow down and worship the meta. I think it's important to, to understand what metas are in these games, but at the end of the day, um, metas are more important when it comes down to matchmaking because it becomes this kind of standard that we all kind of agree to or get forced into when we get match made and since there's not matchmaking i think that gives us more the ability to actually form like intricate interesting groups i actually have a lot of fun using maybe a certain perk that might not be considered the best perk but it actually works better for me and my team because of how we build out our composition as a team rather than an individual. Anyway, that's just my TED talk apparently as I break down into this. Now, guys, if you're still here in this video, if you feel like it earns it, hit that like button, subscribe if you want those free compliments and bonus random, you know, BS perks. Um, and, you know, maybe check out the podcast. I've got a lot of podcast guests lined up. We've got Baggins, we've got Slenderman, we've got Force Gaming, all of them are going to be on the on the podcast. I film every Wednesday over on Gender Prime. You can tune into the live show or you can subscribe to the MP3 audio wherever podcasts are found. I hope you check it out and let me know if you do. And if you feel like it earns it as well, give it a rating as that's a great way to help its discovery in podcast world. But loadouts, I think, are going to be absolutely massively important because that's going to allow me to actually create my build setups so much easier. One of the things that's the most stressful thing uh, in this game for me is the fear that I let something go that I don't want. So I end up locking in so much gear, just lock, 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 lock. And then I end up spending so much time trying to organize said gear the loadout system, I'm being able to both hopefully define my role. Like if you guys have seen the group finder, you can define a role. I would love to have a loadouts that link into that so I can predefine what my role is for my build. And on that note, feedback that I'm giving the devs is I'd love to see a a kind of a support role rather than just the standard three or even a hybrid role. So that way you can kind of try and identify maybe you're a, you know, off tank healer or something like that. Like new world allows for these kind of crazy style builds. And I love it if those systems recognize that, but that aside, I hope that the loadouts allow you to cone and uh, go home. I don't know where that word came from a made up word today, uh, go in and actually, uh, define your role. I hope that it allows you to do a couple of different things. Ultimately, when it comes down to your, like the respecking, right? That was kind of this, uh, gold sink. That was kind of this Azoth sink. I think with loadouts, we don't necessarily need that anymore. I wouldn't mind if they decided, like, if you're going to manually, like, do that that's a fine system to keep it doesn't bother me i think at the point in this uh point in this game it doesn't really affect uh anybody else but like in terms of their uh their builds but if you're going to save a loadout being able to switch to it is would be really nice to not worry about how where my gear is you know all over the place would be really great like want a fisher build you want to you want <laughs> you want a logging build i think with the amount of gear that we end up having especially for crafting and gathering and battle and tanking and healing and all of that this is going to be a system that I think a lot of people are going to be excited. And I would almost go as far as defining this as actual content, because then that level of flexibility when it comes to looking for a specific role, I don't mind tanking. Uh, I love to tank. I also really enjoy healing. And, oh, we already have a tank and a healer? Well, then I don't mind coming as a mage and, and being a caster and things like that. Like to be able to have that level of flexibility in this game is going to be a game changer. And just like with Group Finder, going to open up the game for even more content and even more play. It's going to be really absolutely exciting to see. I can't wait till they show this off. I 
like this is coming soon uh but i don't know if this is coming with the brimstone sands october update However, if they were able to target it for that, that would be massive. I think that would be so exciting for a lot of people to step back into this game. And all of a sudden, it's like you have these builds, you have these ways that you can play um, would be really great. Now, I wouldn't mind if there's a cost to unlocking. And when I say cost, I would think in-game cost. An in-game cost of gold, of a Zoth, of maybe a quest or something like that, so that you can then unlock additional uh, loadout slots. And he, my, my thing is, is that one of the things that really frustrated with me with Anthem is at one point they just gave everybody extra boosts of all these little things. I think they were like, okay, we've, you know, we're clearly losing people. Maybe we can appease them with this small buff. And my thought was it was actually kind of a telling thing of, they should have made that a quest. If I want to have increased booster length, you know, or whatever, make it a quest. And so in terms of that, my hope with loadouts when it, when it is implemented is that maybe give us a handful, you know, like three, like you could start with like three loadouts and then maybe give people quests uh, or things that they can do to unlock additional loadouts, which would then allow you to kind of have a lot more flexibility in terms of you have, I think enough and maybe three isn't the right number. You can let me know if it should be higher, um, you know, but whatever it ends up being that, that if they're going to add in more that you could kind of have this, you know, in game kind of reason to do so and a reason to go in quest and, and lock the and unlock those things as well. So just more things to kind of do in the game. Um, always a big perk for me. Now, uh, we still got a lot of news and information on the horizon for New World. I cannot wait to sit and down and talk with you guys tomorrow's video. I think you're really going to enjoy when we dive back into the player population report. So uh, hopefully you stick around and you check that one out. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on that one as well. Um, but I'm going to wrap up. I didn't, you know, I'm not going to try to make this video longer than it needs to be. I just want to share those thoughts with you uh, today. And I'm working on uh, these things. And thanks so much for being here. And hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully I'll see you on uh, my next video. But guys, oh yeah, by the way, uh, there's a couple videos over here that YouTube likes. Uh, check out all the links in the description if you guys want to get more connected in with the community. And uh, yeah, hopefully you have a great day. Hopefully I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.